I love a good UFO story. I brought one to the table today. This is maybe the least critical of all not so critical updates, but totally just for fun. Not so critical update. The Pentagon <laughs> forms a new department to watch and study UFOs. This is, I, I don't know, close enough probably you'd call it on the heels of them releasing a report that talked about everything they knew about UFOs. They don't call them UFOs. They call them unidentified aerial phenomenon, which kind of opens the door to a broader category. The best part of the story is that they call this new group the Airborne Object... Uh, I'm trying to memorize it. Air, Air, Airborne Object Identification and... Surveillance management synch <laughs> airborne Come object on, identification people. and management synchronization group. I can't do it without reading it. I was trying to do it without reading it. It's ridiculous. Uh, I can't is even remember the acronym. Is it is, yeah? Is it like a cool acronym or no? The acronym sucks. It's A, -A O I M S G. It's like a That's tongue twister. I, it's ridiculous. Don't they usually come up with the acronym first and then sort of? Like, so you have to do it. No, yeah, it's, it's, as, as, as Marvel it's Sword and Shield has taught us, yes. of course, that is how you have to do it. Shield. Shield. Oh my god! I, love the I should. I, I wanted to Marvel try and memorize. Like I knew I couldn't memorize it, I, and I should have done that as the introduction, because now it's just going to sound like I'm an idiot who couldn't read the article. For the oh no! <laughs> no, no, you sounded great. Not you, Mike. No, yeah. no, don't. Well, don't it's staying in one way or the like other, that. so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, I think it's cool. I think it, it will drive conspiracy theorists further down the rabbit hole, unfortunately. But also, I'm like, watched, like that's brilliant. I love it. I think okay. the crankier the better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All oh, yeah. right. Yeah, the alien guys, brilliant. They're just such they're so entertaining. They're like, Very. You know, yeah, they but are. to be fair, to their, to their, to, to their. Um, to be fair, that, is that how is that how I said it? Oh right, you guys are that one TV show I didn't know. <laughs> Funny. Um, <laughs> you almost almost completed it though, because it's the way it's it's a show called Letter Kenny, and they have this thing where one of them goes, Well, to be fair. And then everybody to says, fair, To be to fair. Be, to be and fair. then you just pick up where you left off. To be fair, and finish your point. Yeah. And then to you be fair. Your... To be fair. No, no, no. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's oh, fine. you were already anyway. at that point. Okay, go. <laughs> So we won't do it again. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now. Yeah. To be, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. <back. laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, what I'm trying to say is, oh, you're you're ticking. Okay. Oh, is he in? Oh, he's um, back. Okay, cool. So, in, yeah. to be fair, we just had some technical difficulty, <laughs> and we're picking up. Don't even start, Peter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, bye. Go, John. Mikey, okay. What I'm trying to say, <laughs> holy moly. Don't say it again. Just make your I'm point. I'm going to do not badly I want to. Okay. <laughs> to give benefit to these guys, statistically speaking, there is life, other life besides Oh, don't Earth even start this. In the universe. Oh. That's all I'm saying. No. Okay, I'm not you saying see... that it's intelligent. <laughs> It's probably just some, 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 oh, well, you what, know, some. What's that? That doesn't work. There was a classic sci-fi author who said that, that there are two possibilities: either there is life out there, and it's intelligent enough that it's just stayed the fuck away from us, um, or there isn't. And uh, either likelihood is so depressing that we should just stop thinking about it. Wait, that's so not true, though. What, what 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 kind of what kind of like what kind of two choice answer is that? It's not like either there is no life at all, including nothing, or it's so they're so advanced that they can travel super far away and come to us, but they won't because they're like well, fuck those guys on Earth. Given given the 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 lifespan of the universe so far. The likelihood of an intelligent species uh, emerging that would have uh, FTL travel or some way of, of contacting us, we should have seen something by now. And if we haven't, it's either I, because there's nothing there or because they're just not. They're I think, just, I think John assuming, is... But you're assuming, you're assuming that they're carbon-based and that they're using radio to contact. Maybe they're oh, using, right. you know, 
you get what I'm saying? Like, it's so, we, we know so little. Great subject, by the way, Mike. This is so fun. I, so I have uh, a third option based on a short story. Okay. Uh-huh. Right. But okay. also, John, to say there's life out there, I think the implication is that there's intelligent life. Could there be That's like bacteria on some other planet? That's not sure, what I'm so implying. What? Yeah. It's no, what do you mean so what? She, that totally, totally because we're talking. I mean, in the context of this article, we're talking about three... UFOs. Well, bacteria that on UFOs. That's a, yeah, maybe they are a little UFO. And I don't guy. think it's debate. No. Like, are there? Could there be bacteria so, under the ice on some planet? Cute. Is that even debatable? Like, is it, like the dis- the d- the debate is like between is there intelligent life out there or not? Right. I think statistically speaking, there is intelligent life out there. I also think that like bending space and time is probably super difficult. So no, I don't think it's that easy Only for the them first to time. head on over. You know, skip, skip on over to Earth. We so the, uh, the other the other scenario right? that I tried to relay yeah. in an earlier episode and totally blew it because I couldn't remember the punchline of the story is uh, we keep sending out our messages. Is anybody out there? Is anybody out there? Is anybody out there? Not getting response. And eventually we get a response and it's, shh, they'll hear you. <laughs> ah, spooky. That is our not so spooky update. Yeah. Take a listen in on Fridays <laughs> where we uh, read scary stories. Yeah. Can, can, I, can I say the thing about the acronym? The, this is, I've always thought UFOs, the acronym Unidentified Flying Object, is actually really good. It kind of is very descriptive. It, and it also covers all those examples of things which uh, are unidentified, but not necessarily extraterrestrial life. I thought, I, thought, un, I, I thought unidentified aerial object is a little bit more, no, that could be a little just bit like more a, on the nose. That could be just like a ball, a, a football that was kicked yeah. that well, someone's like, oh, look. I think yeah. that's why they changed it. I don't know what it. that they, is. They, when they did their study, they specifically re- referred to them as unidentified aerial phenomenon. So that could be mm, like a pocket of gas yeah, or a yeah, cloud. Nice. Or... Right, 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 right. Why? Why, though? Is it just because of the baggage that comes with the term UFO? Probably. Well, I think they yeah. open the door to say, like, is it actually an object flying in the sky? No, it could be anything. It could be a light reflection. Yeah, it could yeah, be yeah, a yeah. that's good. You know, but spontaneous that's, that's gas combustion oh. in the atmosphere. It could be any of these things. Oh, it's, it's the object. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I think all so. Right, all right. It's not an object flying. It's just sense. something in the atmosphere that we don't understand. Right. It is gas yes. flying or or floating, right? So like, uh, yeah. I think so that's it's why they don't. I think it's a good phenomenon, yeah. unidentified aerial phenomenon. Anything that happens like in the air, like a light, a reflection know. of light, isn't flying. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I like it. Yeah. I also <laughs> like that Peter's wrong. <laughs> I mean, that's the best part of every story. <laughs> and he never yeah. fails to deliver. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyway, back to John and his lovely <laughs> myth. You, you're going to be so, so uh, gutted when it turns out that aliens are all humanoid species with uncannily um, latex like, faces. Oh, really? faces you think which, so? so? Yeah, yeah. Who, who's the, who's that, the skeptic? John is the skeptic? What? Uh, what? How am I the skeptic? That, they're, that, they're, no. that UFOs are aliens flying around the space? Who's the skeptic here? Who wants to take oh, that time? No, no, no. I, 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 no, think, I think they're, they're like oh, think might, they might be, be, but yeah. I'll be Are agnostic the about it. The, the thing about conspiracy theories is that there have been just enough of them that have been proven true that it's really hard to completely discount every single one. Like, my favorite one is that the CIA were actually drugging students in the 70s right. to test out the effects of acid. They absolutely which were. sounds so bonkers, but it really happened. And soldiers. Oh, really? That sounds and totally soldiers. on brand for I think the it was, CIA. And soldiers. <laughs> wasn't it Wasn't it Project MK Ultra or whatever? Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, yeah. Something like that. And, 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 yeah. and it just seems like such a wacky conspiracy theory, but it was really true. Well, another um, interesting take is yeah. the... The same thing, same exact thing. I'm piggybacking off what you said. CIA in, in inserting cocaine um, into Los Angeles in the early, uh, late 70s, early 80s for what was it for to fund the rebels in Nicaragua? I think oh, I don't remember exactly, that- but but like um, that then fueled the crack cocaine uh, yeah. ep- ep- epidemic and Convic- conveniently pandemic. segueing into the war on drugs. And yeah. conveniently segueing into the war, on drugs. To this war on drugs. It's like 
And then again, completely denied, even though overwhelming proof shows there's even a like hit TV show called Snowflake. Super good, by the way, um, that touches on this. It's fiction, but with a lot of like truth to it. Um, so yeah, you're right, Peter. I agree that like there is enough conspiracies that turned out to be true where yeah. something like this could very well turn out to be like, yeah, they are some dudes, some gray dudes. Some some green some green guys flying so around. So I love that the conversation went in this direction. I added to our agenda for a future week to talk about our favorite conspiracy theories. <laughs> yeah. mm. But I will say, so when 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 Peter and I started doing the show, he said, "Let's focus on security or focus on privacy. Focus on privacy. Focus on privacy." And my concern was that every episode would devolve into the tin foil hat wearing led glasses to avoid being on camera preppers talking about how the government's listening to their brain waves uh, and i'm actually shocked that this is the first time we've gotten to that point i would have lost that bet because i would have guessed every episode would immediately go there but i guess peter's been surprisingly reasonable thanks for setting the bar um yeah. <laughs> right. really showing where you view this was, us this was mike's Mike's uh, story, by the way, this was, this, it was. he's the one, he brought this on yeah, himself. he baited it, yeah. But that was yeah, my yeah. sense of privacy. To me, that's what, pri privacy is conspiracy <laughs> theories, because who cares about protecting your personal information? Okay, you know, I get it now. Wow. I get your sketches. It all <laughs> makes sense. It does. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Oh my god. The biggest right. conspiracy of all. The mind of Mike. Do you know what it is, though? Um, the problem is that Mike has deluded himself because he works in marketing. He just can't, he doesn't compute. He's like, this oh, has yeah, to yeah. be good. This is so, yeah. this is so good. This is totally so good. Right. Every day he's seen us. This is good. Yeah, yeah. People who know I'm, not I'm not evil. I'm not evil. I'm not evil. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. As he's like eating babies. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not evil. <laughs> more babies, I feel like, more babies. These are I feel like you guys are trying to imply something and I'm not yeah. picking up on it. I don't know what's not registering. I don't get it. Yeah. What? All right, well, yeah. I guess I guess we'll just leave it at that then. Yeah. <laughs>